Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, my dear brothers and sisters. I hope you are well, inshallah. And welcome to the third video of our Ramadan 2018 Be Kind campaign. First of all, I would like to thank you all for all the love and support that you've been showing on all the previous videos of sharing it with your family and friends and raising awareness of why it is so important to be kind. Thank you for all the support and let's continue to make a difference and change the way people think and hopefully make a difference within our community. Well, today's video will be talking about acts of kindness and different acts of kindness that we can carry out within our daily lives. And I'll be sharing with you five or six different ways on where we can just easily be kind to someone without even thinking and maybe stuff that we do that many of us may be thinking that we're just doing it in habit, but it actually is an act of kindness and somebody of us that could just easily be doing it when we are out about in our daily lives. Well, acts of kindness are ways that we can interact with people and make people feel happy and make them feel that they are appreciated and are a part of our community. Being kind is a very, very simple act and an act that many of us may take for granted, but an act that can go a very long way. It is taught to us in Islam. It is taught to by the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu throughout his sunnah. Being kind is something that is very, very crucial and something Islam teaches as a fundamental value. Well, there are many ways we can be kind. One being the smiling. We could just smile at someone. When we were walking in the street, we could smile at someone. When we were going into a shop, we could smile at someone. Maybe when we are just interacting with people in business, at school, at college, at university, or just out and about, we could just smile because that could just brighten up someone's day, make them feel happy, make them feel appreciated, and make them feel that they are a part of our world and our community. Secondly, it could be helping someone with their shopping. When we are going about out and about in our shopping, we could see some, an elderly person maybe struggling with their shopping bag. We could help them put them in their car and they would just feel as if they are appreciated. And that small gesture could go a very long way. As well as that, we could be maybe thinking about visiting our neighbours. Our neighbours that may be elderly, we could go and see how they are, see how they're doing. Just say hello and just speak to them. Maybe help them with their bin when they're out, put them inside and maybe they would appreciate that a lot more than maybe you would think. Well, many of us might not be thinking as this is a big issue, but it is. Maybe when we are speaking and something comes to our mind, we need to think before we speak. We might just want to bite our tongues and think, oh, maybe I shouldn't say that because that could hurt someone. And maybe I should think, shouldn't say that, I should keep that to myself. All these thoughts should be going through our head when we are speaking because then we are filtering what we are saying and people may not feel as offended and they, we can be kind. That is a form of being kind, just thinking of what you're saying before you actually say it and actually biting your tongue when you might want to say something, but it might not be the right time and place to say that. And maybe another way that we could be kind to one another is to help one another when we are in need. Helping someone is a very, very important thing because you could need help and then somebody might be able to help you in turn. But if somebody asks you for a very, very small gesture, such as, um, can you uh, pick something up from the shop for me? Or can you uh, do this letter for me? Or can you send this text for me? Or can you research this for me? These small things could be just helping someone out. And mainly it's where you could be helping your parents. If you have elderly parents, if you have parents that maybe are not as tech savvy as we are as the, in the youth of the 21st century, just help them out. Help them by supporting them and show them how to do it because that could be is definitely an act of kindness and respecting your parents is very very crucial and another very very important message that is taught to us in islam and is taught us to us by the prophet muhammad so helping people is very very important and finally another act of kindness that we could all do and is very very important and especially in ramadan is charity helping those in need people that are maybe homeless people that maybe not have the amount of money that we have by helping them by giving them food by giving them water or whether it's giving charity because people are in need all over the world and i've personally seen that by visiting different parts of the world that people are in need and we need to help them and alhamdulillah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has blessed me and has many blessed many of you with lives that are very luxurious that we all live in and it is that we are in a bubble we are in a bubble that maybe we don't see what's going on in the world around us but being Giving charity is very, very important and is definitely an act of kindness because you may be helping that person and you might be able to support them and their family 
when they are in need and that you are able to help them. So I would say giving charity is very important. But giving charity in a manner that you know is going directly to the people that you're wanting to support and that you can see it first time making a difference. Because from my experience, giving charity to somewhere that you actually know what is happening, that you are seeing what is happening and making a difference to people's lives has more of an effect on you as an individual than giving it to a charity out there that will then use that money that will not tell you and how your money has been spent. So that is my advice to you guys, that you should definitely give charity, but give charity to your own local communities, whether it's in Pakistan, whether in India, or whether other parts of the world that you feel that people are in need, uh, or even within the UK that you can see that difference is being made and something has actually been done with that money. Well, there are a few acts of kindness that you guys can maybe do implement into your lives, quite simple, quite easily done, and something that we to think about this Ramadan, and definitely for me as well as for you. Um, and Jazakallah Khair, thank you for watching and continue to support our Be Kind campaign, continue to share our videos with your friends and family and together let's continue to make a difference and, and get this embedded into everyone's mind The Be Kind is definitely spreading around and people are talking about it and uh, we would love you for all your love and support and thank you to everyone for all the comments and maybe comment below and let us know how you guys be kind and maybe you could share some tips with people uh, around and uh, something that maybe we could implement in our lives as well. Jazakallah khair and uh, stay tuned for next week as we have our fourth video on why it's so important to be kind and together let's continue to make a difference. Jazakallah khair, wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.